This is how you write hello world using the programming language called C. This is how you do it in C++, this is in Python, and this is in Java. They're all very different from each other, but one thing most modern programming languages have in common is support for paradigms such as object-oriented programming, or OOP for short. To explain the core idea behind OOP, let's take a look at this example. Let's say we have a class called cat. This class has a number of properties, such as name, age, and fur color. It also has a number of methods, such as eat, sleep, and meow. Then we have an object of this class. This is called a class instance, and we can assign it to a variable called cat1. Cat1 has concrete values for her properties. Her name is Luna, she's one years old, and she's white. Luna needs a friend, so let's say we have another cat called Cat2. Cat2 is called Charlie, he's two years old, and his fur is black and orange. Cats are all instances of the cat class. We can create more instances, we can assign them to variables, we can store data inside them, and we can also call methods on them. This is the basic idea behind OOP, which is something that's present in most popular programming languages. To learn more about the basics of programming, check out my video linked in the comments.